This is um, another one of those big crowd pleasers that we had in uh, in Stream Classic was the ability to basically cut the beginning or the end off of your video, right? So you've got this extra long video and everybody, you know, you've got like the uh, the five minutes of the meeting where people are coming in and, you know, hey, Andy, how's it going? Oh, how was your weekend? All that kind of, you know, fluff that's at the beginning of the meeting. And you want to like chop that off. Well, in Stream Classic, what you would do is you basically would like move your timeline and say, this is the start of my video, move it, this is the end of my video, and it would reprocess and, and it would retranscode the video so that it would cut those sections off. So it was what we call a destructive trim. You, you could, I think you could go back and restore. I don't, I don't remember if you could like do that. I thought you could, but like, you were waiting a long time for it to reprocess the entire video. Well, stream on SharePoint, this has been worth the wait because you can hide parts of your video and essentially trim it non-destructively now. So this is wonderful because you can always go back and make adjustments later on. Um, the other big benefit is you can trim in the middle of a video as well. So back in the olden days with Stream Classic, you could only do the beginning and the end. Now I can decide to cut from the middle if I want to. So to demonstrate this really quickly, uh, we got the beginning and the end. That's what those handles are for the beginning and the end of the video. So I can drag that wherever I want. So if I want to go here and I want to go there, like say that I've got like a, a welcome screen. Actually, let's do that because... We've got this welcome. It's like a, a minute and 49 seconds. Let's go ahead and let's move forward a little bit to where that ended. So I'm going to jump back 10 seconds until, see, there it is. And right there, almost right there. Okay, so that's where I want to start. So that's where I would drag that to that point in time. Or I could see that like, hey, this is at a minute and 59 seconds. So I could type that in a minute 59, hit enter. It jumped to that section. And then at the end, we've got the like, thanks for watching part that we normally do, you know. At the end of the video, it does like, thanks for watching. So this little section, at that point, I could trim to there if I wanted to manually click the the commit button and it says hey the original can be viewed or downloaded by people with edit access so if you can switch to edit you can see the whole video but the people who are viewers they can only see like what you trimmed uh, down to and then the original transcript can be accessed through search copilot so it's telling me that like the transcript is there uh, for for that section so I'm going to confirm that now I've immediately made that video shorter. So what is it? Uh, originally it was like, what, a minute and 56 or an hour and 56. If I go to view, then now we see it is a minute and 54 or an hour and 54. So I've cut like two minutes off the video. Um, it does tell the viewer that the video was trimmed though. So they will, uh, they will know that like something was cut from the video. Um, which is fine, I think, for transparency reasons. But we cut the beginning and the end off of it. What if I messed up in the middle and like, okay, this whole section right here, this whole chapter, I just want to get rid of that chapter. So I can totally do that as well by clicking trim. I want to make a new cut and it puts that in the section in the middle. So, you know, say that my chapter was from like 1033 to 1516. If I go back to trim, then I can say, what was it, 1033 to 1516. And then I, I hit the little check mark, and now I have clipped that section out. It actually essentially pulled that whole chapter for me. And that's all done. And now if I go back to edit, it was an hour and 54 minutes. Now it is an hour and 49 minutes. So I've trimmed that portion out. It doesn't tell the person where it was trimmed. Like it looks like a smooth video all the way throughout, but you can see that like that, um, that part was basically just plucked out. So if you have a really egregious mess up, you can pull out the entire, like, uh, let's just cut that whole slide from the presentation. 
you could do it after the fact. Uh, non-destructively and immediately is the two big keys there. Um, anything else to add there, Andy? I think the only thing we didn't talk about is how do I undo that? The way that you undo it is just click the trash can right here. So we're making some trims to this and me being um, curious because I know what my end users are going to ask. Mm -hmm. I want us to go back into the original location for this file. So you got mix in the upper left-hand corner. Um, let's head yes. back into the documents of OneDrive. Okay. And then for this particular um, file, mm -hmm. let's go into the version history. Okay. Yeah. And you can see it was modified 14 minutes ago. Um, so let's go here. That probably would update if I refresh this page. Um, do, 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 version history. So you can see uh, this is today's date, right? At 155 was when it was last edited. Let me refresh. So fresh new page. 15 minutes ago, I click on this uh, version history. It looks like it didn't add a, a version for okay. it. So the other thing that um, I want to see is um, let's mm -hmm. go back um, right here uh, and just view the details for the file at the bottom. Okay. All right. So there's the details. Now it's telling me I edited this yep. file about a minute ago. <laughs> so just so it does have that. It also has the original length. So see that mm -hmm. duration, an hour and 56 minutes, but we have trimmed it down to an hour and 49 minutes. So that could be because I have edit rights to the file um, that it's showing the entirety. So anything else you want to see on, on this one? No, that was, uh, those were going to be some of the questions I think that people in the audience are going to have. I just want to make sure we get that on the, okay. on the stream about what's going to happen, like version history when we're doing the non destructive other... trim and what happens to the details pane with the edit history mm -hmm. over there when you're doing it. So the other thing was back to uh, Daryl's comment about the transcript. So let's go here. Let's go here and let's uh, let's see if we can cut a big chunk of this off of here mm -hmm. um, and see what that does to the transcript. You want to try that? Yep. So if we go to 2951, um, at 2951, we had like this chunk of, of stuff. Oh, man. Um, can I do it with Word? <laughs> Let me open up a new Word document and see what we can do. Uh, screw it. Let's just do Word.new. Um, Word.new. Go in here. Paste it in. Okay. So there's like my timestamp of like 251 or 2951, stuff like that. Now let's go down a little bit in the video to, so 2955. Let's jump to like um, 50 minutes in, like exactly 50. 50.02 and let's sync to video. So at like the 50 minute mark, there was this portion right here. So let's select that and let's go back into word and let's add that. So that's the, the section of the transcript, right? Mm -hmm. Now let's go back and 2951. Let's cut it out and let's see what happens. So, we're going to go from 2950 to what did I do? Like 50 minutes, 50 minutes. So let's do it at like one hour and 15 minutes, right? Let's cut a big chunk off of there. And then let's go over to edit, to view it. Now my video is significantly shorter. It's only an hour and eight minutes and let's go to the transcript and let's go to, uh, what was it? 29. 51. So 2951. Well, I guess that didn't, didn't quite work. Let's scroll to 2951. So 2950 right here. Okay. 
So it's cut out all the Lisa Crosby stuff. Sorry, Lisa. Um, <laughs> we cut out all of that section where we were talking about her YouTube channel. And it goes from that 2947 down to like, you know, the, the 30 minute mark. And there's, you know, none of that stuff is there where it's like, Hey, check out her LinkedIn. She's been talking about this stuff. Then talking about like prompt journeys and things like that. Um, you, we can see that that portion is cut out of that section We're now we're talking about prompt buddy, which was like way further down in the video. Um, but the timestamps are retained, right? So it basically, it readjusted the timestamps to what the new timestamps are and it kept the transcript, um, intact.